2010 is a year that changed everything for Kenya. The promulgation of the Constitution secured a lot of basic rights for Kenyans. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 encapsulates the right of every Kenyan to clean and safe water in adequate quantities and the right to reasonable standards of sanitation. To this end, the Water Act of 2016 has moved on to create a framework for the implementation of these constitutional requirements. What we are doing, uh, for example, in the city, we are striving to implement the water and sewerage master plan in total, the way it is. By doing the investment that we are now doing, we are uh, just about to complete the fourth Nairobi water supply projects. As I've uh, indicated, it will be in operation by the year 20, January 2021. We have also planned to do Malagwa Dam, bring in more water and share it with the Molanga people, that is for the city. And we have also uh, plans at Adawi to implement other water storage facilities, uh, including water harvesting and storage facilities, including Atamayo, Ikafoi, uh, Amete Dam, to be able to strive, uh, uh, to, 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 to be able to, to make sure that uh, Nairobians have water. Under the new strategic plan 2019-2024, Afi Waterworks is determined to work towards its goal of accelerating access to water and sanitation. With this plan, they aim to rally resources and deliver water to the environs of Nairobi, Kiambu, and now Muranga counties. This is on the backdrop of a rapidly growing population that is demanding for these services, increasing economic activities, climate change among others, which will require us to mobilize enormous resources. We have secured the funding, we have done the designs, the feasibilities, and we are ready to break ground. Kenyans should expect from the Minister of Water honest service, improved water services, increased uh, water supply. As we do water supply, our focus also will be on the sanitation, the sewerage, the wastewater treatment. Under this renewed energy and focus, the Athi Waterworks Development Agency has set out an ambitious plan for the three counties it covers. This to one, increase the percentage of the population with access to safe water to 80%. Two, to increase percentage of access to sewerage from 47% to 70% by 2022. Three, to initiate resource mobilization strategies to generate 234.775 billion Kenya shillings for financing water and sanitation infrastructure development. Four, to operationalize bulk water services provision by 2020. Five, to promote research, development and adoption of appropriate technology. Six, to strengthen leadership and governance for efficiency and productivity. And seven, to pursue water and sanitation infrastructure development while ensuring human resources, financial and environmental sustainability. As a chairman, I, I see a bright future uh, because um, we are seeing ourselves contributing to the Big Four agenda and uh, looking at uh, the needs of water and sanitation in buildings, in industrial, uh, manufacturing, uh, institutions of learning. And that we ourselves, we, we see ourselves as the leader uh, in this sector. And we hope that ourselves, uh, through our actions and our programs, will take this country to another level by bringing in uh, innovations. Yeah. We, believe that uh, there is potential, particularly in engaging the youth and ensuring that uh, they are involved, particularly in matters uh, uh, harvesting or protection of our water resources and uh, how we treat uh, the waste and making sure that uh, we treat water as one of the most important resources, not only for this nation, but in the world. All this is in a goal to ensure that the story of water is surely also our story.